Hello everyone, my name is Infinity Break, and today I am bringing you three mods, three mods everybody, in Skyrim Special Edition, which can also be found, some of them, in Skyrim Regular Edition. I am going to be reviewing today, first off, the Sword Breaker SE by Bill Euro. It is a wonderful little mod that, oh god, right there, that, if you can't tell, adds a wonderful little sword into the game. He's done a couple other mods, I might review them in the future. I just wanted to pick a very simple one. As you can see, it's a very beautiful weapon. Very nice, very clean, very, very shiny. I really like it. It's, a uh, unique. It does a base damage of 30, but I've upgraded it, oh wait, uh, 33, but you can upgrade it if your smithing skill is high enough to about 63 damage. That's good, you can enchant it. Uh, you build it at a forge for, I believe, four steel ingots, a couple of leather, and some leather straps, and you get yourself a fine little baby sword right here. Looks really nice. I really like it. Really fast. Obviously, it's a sword. So, shut up. Um, so, yeah, essentially, it's it's a really nice sword. I'm going to be using this today for the other mods, because I got two... Shut the hell up, Gillis. Oh, my God. Everyone, shut up. I'm trying <laughs> uh, but yeah, I will be reviewing this sword today through the quest mod that we're going to do. And of course, besides that, I have another little baby quest mod uh, for you and a little player home that I'm going to right now. So, I'll meet you there. Hopefully, it doesn't interfere because I think I saw that... Uh, it may actually be interfering with one of the mods. Lydia, shut up. I'm actually worried. Nope, it's there. So, it might be back of uh, Solitude, maybe? Can I... DFC over there? Toggle, not to toggle free cam. TCL. Uh, let's see if we can pin the ship, everybody. Uh, yeah, I uh, <laughs> I'll be right back as soon as I can actually get to it. Oh no, there it is. <laughs> okay, I found it. <laughs> uh, guys, I found it. Guys, Lydia, Grunt, Imp. I found a Nern root. It's cool. Uh, so yeah, um, I don't know where the others went. They disappeared. But, I found the other ship. It's up there. Uh, it says you gotta go to behind Solitude for this one. Uh, but let me, let me introduce the mod first. So this is the... Let me find the right freaking name. Actually, let me start over. Alright, so I found it. It's called the Dev Azava. Eviz. Ah, kill me. Dev Avaza. I'm very bad at pronouncing names, everybody. Uh, this is a wonderful little airship player home by Depri. And it is supposed to be a conversion of the Moonpath to Ellswary ship. Uh, and it's just made into a player home that can travel to different places. And I'm going to go up there and check it out. Uh, the others are uh, following behind me. Not too far. But it says you're supposed to look behind Solitude. I assumed you would be going into Solitude, but uh, no. You will be going literally behind Solitude outside of it. And there's a little docking station for it. And it looks like there's some enemies I'm going to have to kill. Uh, do something like this. Just You know, you take your uh, sword breaker. You just go up on the thing and you... Fuck those tumblers. Oh my god, no! Are they dead? Okay, yeah, one of them died. Ah, they can get the other ones, who cares? So, Thalmor guarding the ship, that's cool. I love killing me some Thalmor, I'm pretty sure we all do. Oh, we gotta get into a fight. Oh, let's do it. Oh, I may have messed up. Oh, God. Oh, God, baby, Lord, baby Jesus. Oh, run. Oh, God. I keep falling off because I'm trying to focus on the fight. Let me on. Let me fight you. Oh, 
Ooh, nice. Ah. So as you can see, the Swordbreaker does pretty decent damage, especially if your one-handed skill is high enough like mine is. The little little thing with some cards from another mod that isn't part of that. <laughs> um, and yeah, uh, this... That's weird. What was that? Did you hear that? I, I heard that. So the walking sound effects kind of messed up. Not really much of a big issue. I barely even noticed it. This is the ship. Apparently, there's a player helmet that you can use. It's kind of nice. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, the, what the? I'm, I'm scared, guys. I did something I'm not supposed to. I don't think I was supposed to do this. I may have messed up. I messed up. I didn't I didn't mean to do that. Ah, uh, no. Ah, uh, no. Oh. Oh, God, no. I did bad. Oh, the textures look terrible because it's Skyrim. Oh, no. Put me back. Ah, oh, fucking G. No. T C L. No, T F C. Let's see if that does anything. So, I'm on the ship. <laughs> this is a thumbnail, everybody. <laughs> but I can't move. Um, and I'm pretty sure it's my fault. Because uh, I don't know if it's because I don't have something installed proper. Um, that's bizarre. I don't know what the heck is going on with this. Oh wait, maybe I'm using controller. Maybe I'm supposed to... Oh, okay, it's controlled by the WASD. Okay, um, I'm an idiot. Very slow moving ship. Let me just unplug my controller real quick. So if you're using Q uh, controller, You will uh, obviously not have. Oh, okay. You're supposed to be using the arrow keys. Okay, that's cool. I like this. Is actually really freaking cool. Holy crap! So yes, um, mod is very nice. This is really freaking cool. I was told this was a player hub, if I'm not mistaken. But if not, I mean, it's still. This looks freaking awesome. This is. Oh shit! What the fuck is going on there? My question is, how do you? Oh, good. Wait, stop the stop the ship. Here. Okay, we're going up. Okay, as we're going up, I don't know how to go back down. <laughs> oh no! I don't know what I'm doing. I'm flying a ship. I never took piloting lessons. Grandma Bearfist doesn't even know what this thing does. Oh, I'm scared. The others didn't get on. Now, if I disappear, no one's gonna know what's gonna happen. Oh no! You gotta tell my family. You gotta tell my wife that that doesn't exist. Uh, my mom, my grandma. Oh god. Okay, they're, they're okay. Uh, we can figure this out. Gotta figure out how to land the freaking ship. Uh, spacebar. Okay, right, ship has been stopped. Okay, 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 so I'm back on keyboard and mouse now. Uh, uh -huh. Okay. Okay, that's cool. I like it. Now I'm, I'm, st <laughs> I'm stuck up here. Uh, oh, this is how you go inside. Okay, sweet. That's cool. Amazing, amazing mechanics. That probably, I actually probably use this. This is pretty freaking cool. Uh, oh, now you guys show up. You know, you didn't get on the ship. You didn't help me out when I was freaking scared to death. Gonna move my freaking mouse pad. Yeah, that's right. You're all here now. That's all that matters. <laughs> uh, nice decor. I like the inside so far. The map. Oh! Uh, back, 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 back. Exit, exit. 
that's cool. My sensitivity is a little off because I'm used to playing with keyboard or not controller, not keyboard. Dragon language. A lot of stuff has been retextured. Oh, the the what just happened? Frame rate just dropped tremendously. Don't know what that was. Uh, no, here, let me let me turn off my uh, gameplay. Also, apologies if you can hear it. It's like raining right now. Grunt, I need you to move, buddy. It's like, it's raining right now, and Grunt's in my freaking way. Grunt! Also, I can't bring out my weapon. Okay, good. No! How do I use commands again? Oh, uh, he's moved now, whatever. So yes, uh, it looks really nice. Kind of hard to get to some of the things over there, but oh shit! And the frame rate keeps dropping. Uh, probably because Grunt's freaking out. Grunt, go, go, Grunt! Whoa, 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 whoa! Grunt, what are you doing? Uh, TCL, everybody. Weapon racks. False back panel that leads to a seeker room and you can hide all your porn magazines. Awesome. Sorry if you're under the age of 13 and watching this. Please don't demonetize me, YouTube. What am I talking about? I don't even get paid for this. <laughs> what am I doing? I'm talking about getting demonetized. Ooh. Yeah, no, this is a very solid player house. I like this. Magic artifacts. That's actually pretty cool. I like that a lot. Uh, nice little player bed, jewelry box, all the storage containers you could ever need. And, oh, like, ooh, you can look outside too. It's pretty, pretty nice. Not supposed to be out here, but I am. That's actually kind of funny. I know, like, the only reason that's there like that is because uh, the, the outside doesn't matter because you're only gonna be on the inside. But that looks amazing. I can imagine actually using this as a player house. Um, but today. Uh, if I could go back to TCL real quick, put my collisions back on. There is actually, oh, there's even more underneath. Uh, but today I'm going to be using this as kind of like a little, I, I gotta figure out how to use this ship because I'm going to be using this to do the other mod for today, everybody. Uh, and oh, there's a little place for your companions. Some bats. We all know we all haven't bathed in a while. There's a little toilet. Oh, that's so, that's actually pretty cool. Um, front, front. Got my ass, get my way. Um, and then of course there's a little forge smelter. This is really nice. This is actually really well implemented. The valve do. I just turn a little valve. I like that. It's so cute. So cool. Um. But yeah. Good job. This is really, this is really nice. And if Grunt can get the hell out of my way, ah! Right behind you. Grunt's gonna block every doorway. This is exactly why the mod out there said, if you want to change your size, you can. I'm like, yeah, that's great, but I don't. Uh, arcane enchanters, alchemy, everything that you could ever need is in this ship. You don't need your kids or your family anymore. Just, just give me money for this ship. Also, it's a rope. Ooh, they took a lot of assets. They got really creative. I like that a lot. So yes, um, that is the ship. We're going to be using that today for the real mod that I probably put in the title of this video, actually. Uh, called The Gauntlet of Continuum by Phantom of the Sith. This is a little uh, Infinity Gauntlet inspired mod. Um, I'm going to have to find the gauntlet. And I'm going to have to find... Right, let, me, let me use a teleport feature. Get this ship back to somewhere actually stable before we, we try to fly it again because last time I didn't know how to fly it and I guess I'm not gonna be using my controller like I like to uh, but whatever who cares <laughs> all right so I'm gonna have to I've got your back. I know you do oh shit uh, uh, to ball scar there is no false scar, so we don't have that. Skyrim. No beacon to sign for this location. 
Well, this is this is terrifying. Well, I don't think we can set a location. Oh wait, that's right. If you go down into the smithery, I discovered this earlier when I was trying to make the sword breaker. You can actually use the uh, okay. Not wanting to work. Okay, no, it's not working. It's not good. So that's not that's not working. There goes my plan to use that. Wonderful, wonderful start. Wonderful start, everybody. We're doing great. Um, probably will be funny as hell to watch. I'm not gonna lie. At least I would I would hope it would be. If anything, yeah, it's raining a little bit. Hope you guys can't hear the water dripping next to me from the water pump. Because that's the one flaw in my room, which is uh, currently, or not my room, my recording area, that's currently next to my freaking water pump, because I'm an idiot when I set up everything. Alright, so, we're going to have to figure out where the heck we're going here. So the first place that we're going to go is uh, going to get the gauntlet, which is the first piece, obviously, if we're going to be collecting the infinity stones. Um, or the continuum stones, I apologize. <laughs> different universe, different rules. So the gauntlet is in Stendar's Beacon, way to the southeast. The stones can be added at the Skyforge. So Stendar's Beacon is way to the southeast. It didn't really give me any pictures. It would have been nice to have some pictures, but I will make do with what I can... I could probably look it up, honestly, if I really... Watch, I'm like, this is southwest, isn't it? No, this is... I don't know east from west. I know north and south. I don't know east from west. Very bad. Very bad at directions. Don't ever put me in front of your... Giving me a ship was probably your first mistake. But I'll make a deal with what they have. Yeah, there we go. Uh, we have a lot... We have, a lot to... we have a lot to go. Let's see how well the ship does. Also, really, again, hope you can't hear the water pump, everybody. Uh, so let's go around the mountain. I'm assuming the other ship will bring you down. So, so far, it seems to be working pretty well. Lydia's staring at us from the back of the ship. Um, I'm hoping um, that it doesn't crash the game. And I'm assuming it's something very similar to you need a lot of really good technology to run this. Mostly because you will be traveling at a pretty fast rate. Like, considering that we're going over everything, we're probably going really fast right now. And... It's actually pretty cool. I like this. I really do like this concept. It's a player home. It moves with you. It's completely unique. I think it, they said they used the concept from the moon path to Ellsbury, which I need to play that because apparently it's a really good mod. Um, but yeah, that it's older. I'm trying to do a lot of newer mods because I like to showcase stuff that's new that hasn't really been shown off. So yeah. Um, also, I don't know how the heck we're going to get off this thing. Um... So yeah, I, I don't I don't know how the heck we're gonna I don't know how the heck we're gonna freaking get off of this ship. We're on it. Uh, the board fell. We didn't take it on to the ship, so we're just kind of we're just kind of free going right now, everybody. We're just kind of going. We the bus. We take it over. <laughs> Where the heck are we? Oh wait, no, it's the wrong menu. So as you can see, it is a pretty fast ship. We started here. We're like all the way over here now. We're more than halfway to our destination, I think. It's kind of nice. Keep going at the speed we're going at. We'll probably be there soon. Uh, only thing, this isn't really the mod creator's fault at all, is I kind of wish that my render distance wasn't like shitty. Uh, I don't like messing with my settings because I like the way they're at right now. There's a dragon in the distance. Oh, oh no. Oh no, uh, we need to divert path away. Stop, just just stop. Oh god. 
Oh god, we're about to... Oh, let's see if we can sneak past him. <laughs> this is actually really freaking cool. There's a dragon over there in the distance. And I'm afraid because I'm pretty sure he's going to notice us. He's going to start attacking the airship. <laughs> I don't know how think we're going to fight him. Um, he's trying to look at something down there. I'm afraid. I hope he flies in the direction of my... Is that all doing? That's not all doing. That can't be. Is that all doing? wide right take a wide right don't don't let him notice us please that, that's actually a really cool concept though the idea of like the the freaking um the dragons because skyrim dragons skyrim you know just <laughs> but yeah dragons and skyrim i mean they're pretty one in one you put an airship in there you don't know what the fuck's gonna happen oh god that's terrifying i don't know what that noise was but yeah, that's pretty fucking terrifying. Also, really cool because if the dragon noticed us, we'd probably have to get into a fight with it. I'm not gonna lie. Um, but yeah, that's that's really cool. We are almost on our way to. Oh, 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 we still alive? Yeah, not the ship. 